Hi, it's Marcy from Flowium. Today I'm going to go over two ways to create buttons inside Clavio and with code. Okay, so what is important when you are designing buttons for email? There's a few things that I like to look at. For example, the white space around your button, it should be clear. You don't wanna have like a block of text and your button right underneath it. You want to give that button some breathing room and like this stat says, reducing clutter around their CTA increased open miles conversion rate by 232%. That's huge, like make your buttons big too. I think that's really important. The color, you want the color to be bright. And in this stat, they have tested that orange CTAs boosted their conversion rate over 32 and a half percent. So you don't have to use orange, but you do wanna use something that's bright, something that has contrast. So for example, if you're using an orange button, you don't wanna use red text on top of the button. So keep the contrast there and then test it because maybe orange is not your brand color, but maybe some for some reason it works for your email subscribers. And then the next thing is really big text. I feel like bigger is just better. You want it to be tappable from the phone and you want it to be very clear what is the call to action. So even if you feel like the text is a little bit too big, as long as it's not wrapping onto the next line, I feel like bigger is better. So at least 16 pixels, um, you could go even bigger than that depending on how long the CTA text is and then test your CTAs because you may find the orange CTA works best or maybe black does. The other thing is you wanna test the placement. So it's best practice to always have your button above the fold, but there have been some, there are some stats floating around out there that say a button below the fold actually converts better. So test it out. Every audience is different. You don't know what's gonna work for yours. So, okay, let's go make some buttons inside Clavio. Okay, so let's come into Clavio and we will build some of these buttons. It's super easy. We're just gonna go over to the button block option, drag this in. I'm gonna have to change my background color here because I have blue and when you drag the block in, it's gonna set it to white or it's gonna set it to whatever your content background color is set at the top level of your template. So for just this block, I'm gonna click block styles. I'm gonna change my block background to blue. And so now I have this button. Already this button does not look bad. There's not enough contrast, so I don't really want the dark blue on the lighter blue. I'm gonna change this to this pill shape and I'm gonna make it like a secondary button. So back under block styles, my button background, this part, I'm gonna change that to be the same blue as my background. And then I'm going to add a border. We'll try maybe four. And then here you can set it dashed, dotted, any of these. So um, dash, this really works well if you're putting in like a coupon code, especially like a dynamic coupon code, it really stands out for the customer um, so they know what to copy and paste. But I'm gonna do solid, set the color here. I'll set it to white. And so that looks pretty good. It's not in the right shape. So you're gonna set that here and that's the border radius. And you can just play around with this. I'm gonna make mine all the way around and then I'm gonna add a little extra padding here on the side. And then I think I'm gonna make this three. Okay, so there you have a pill shape and then you can also play here with the top and bottom padding. And then one thing that you wanna do is, let's try to make this a little bit longer. So this looks great on desktop, but once you switch over to mobile view, that text is gonna wrap, and I highly recommend you just don't have the text wrap, it just doesn't look good. So change or um, modify your text so it's shorter, and you can do that here. Okay, so now if we wanted to change this to a fully filled in pill shape, we would just click on the button, 
And then now we have a blue background, we're just gonna change it to white. We're gonna lose our text because our text was white. So on button text, we'll just change that to the blue. Okay, so now let's make, instead of making like a button style CTA, let's just make a text link. So say down here you wanted to use text links because this is secondary information. You don't wanna have like a million buttons floating around your email. You're just going to drag in a text block, add your copy. I'm gonna center it. Now, once you add a link here, Clavio is going to follow the styling that you set at the style level of the entire template. So over here, we have this text color as blue, it's bold, and you have an underline. If you don't want an underline, you could just say none. I feel like you should keep the underline. It just makes it clear that it's a link. Um, but if you did want to change that text color, you would do it here. So we'll keep it blue. So that's it for the Clavio piece. Um, one thing that you may want to look out for is in your testing, make sure that you're looking at your buttons and that they're consistent across devices. For example, if we come over here, I created this round button, but in my testing, I see that Outlook is not recognizing the border radius. So if that's happening and having that round consistent button is really important to your brand, what you could do is create HTML button. And there is something called bulletproof buttons from Campaign Monitor. It's buttons.cm, many designers use this. It's a really easy way to create buttons. You can basically, here's a little preview. You put in your text, you can have a background image, say you want a gradient, that's something that Clavio can't handle at this point. Maybe you want a pattern in the background, you can actually upload a background image. So you'd place that URL there. You set your background color, font color, how wide is it, your button height, you can put a border around it and select that color here. And then border radius again is this edge right here. And you will just, paste in your URL, and you'll end up with this little tiny bit of code, which you'll just copy, and then you'll paste that in. Um, let's go over to Clavio and do that right now. Okay, so I have copied this code, and I came back into Clavio. I'm going to drag in a text block. Actually, let's just put it Say you wanna put it right here under this text. The text is white, so you can't see it. You're gonna click source, and then you're just going to paste this in. Just make sure you have the URL. I didn't paste the URL in here. And then you'll hit source again. Now here's your HTML button. You cannot, try not to edit this. You're gonna to wanna to click into source and edit this in case you're changing the copy. But what you'll notice here is now this is text. So my template styling at the top level of my template, it's telling this button to make the link blue. So you'll wanna go into styles, change your link to white, remove the underline if you're planning to use a button like this. But these look great and the benefit to these buttons is they're going to stay around across 99% of devices. There are the few random old versions of Outlook that will not show these, but honestly, no one's probably reading your email on that version of Outlook. Or, or no, it'll of course be your boss or something that is, but hopefully most people will see your nice round button here. That's it for our Clavio button video. If there is a button that we missed that you want to learn how to create or you saw in an email somewhere, leave a comment below and we'll create a tutorial for you. Thanks. <laughs>